This piece is called The Dream by Henry Rousseau. This piece features a naked woman sitting on a lounge in the midst of a jungle background. Behind the woman is many figures, um, some of animals and some of people. Um, one figure is playing an instrument with a colorful skirt. Um, there are lions and birds and a rhinoceros and many other creatures in this jungle-like landscape. Um, the colors contrast beautifully. Um, the light skin tones on the woman against the dark shadowy backgrounds are really exquisite and bring out um, the fact that she is the centerpiece of the painting. Um, there is a lot of texture in the leaves and the flowers and the creatures all around and just a huge diversity in texture that makes this piece really interesting to look at. Um, and in the rhythm and repetition of this piece, it really brings it all together. Um, there's a lot of green in this piece, but it's not boring to look at. It's not repetitive in um, a monotonous kind of way. It There are different shades of green and they really make it interesting and make you feel like you're in the wild. Um, there's an irony in a woman in such a vulnerable position of nakedness in the middle of a dangerous jungle where there are predators um, on all sides. She doesn't look afraid though. She lays very relaxed on her side, just kind of gazing out at her surroundings in an interested kind of way. But there's no fear in her face that we can see. And I think this romanticizes the danger of the wilderness and everything that comes with it. It really kind of idealizes nature and it's beautiful because she's not afraid of it and it kind of makes her at one with nature. Um, the lions behind the lounge have big, big eyes and one of them looks straight at us. And it's really interesting that uh, Rosau um, chose to have the lion gazing at us because it makes you wonder, is he coming for me or is he just curious? It makes you ask questions and it's intriguing um, and makes you want to look at the painting more. The space on this canvas is so full and it really unifies the piece. The fact that there is so much going on, but it's not really chaotic. It's just full in the way a forest is full or a jungle is full. Um, it really makes you feel like you're in the wild and in nature. And I love that. Um, the tones in this piece vary. There are really shadowy colors in the background, um, dark, dark greens and browns. And in the foreground, there's lighter greens and yellows. And it kind of makes you feel like you can see what's close to you, but not what's far away. And it makes you wonder what's behind the shadows and if there's things waiting for you there. Um, this piece is so intentional. You can tell that every brush stroke was just on purpose and that uh, the artist worked really hard to make this piece full and look like very um, deep and interesting to look at. And I think it's an exquisite piece and deserves so much respect.